Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Welcome to Android Login Tutorial Series and here we are building an Android application and the main focus is to implement authentication, a proper authentication in our application. In the last video, we have created the repository and what repository does is it communicates with either our remote data source that is our RESTful APIs or our local storage that is either room or shared preferences. So we have created the auth repository in the last video and I hope that you successfully followed till the last video and you are ready with your project. In this video we will create a base fragment. So what we do is we try to minimize writing the codes. So all the common things that we are going to use in all our fragments, we will put it inside an abstract base fragment. And in this video, we will be creating that base fragment. But before moving into our project, I would like to request you all that please hit on that like button, subscribe to this channel if you are not already a subscriber and Please, please, please share this video with all your friends who are learning Android application development. So let's get into our project. So this is the auth repository that we created in the last video. Now what I will do is I will create a separate package for UI code. So I will create a package and I will name it UI. Now what I will do is I will put all my auth package inside this UI package. Let's refactor. Now inside the UI package, I will create one more package that is base. So I will create it inside the UI package. So I have the base package and now inside this base package, I will create my base fragment. So let's create a new Kotlin file class and I will name it base fragment. Now it would be an abstract class. So I will write abstract class, not this abstract class base fragment. As this is a fragment, we will extend fragment class to this class. And for all our main fragments, we will extend this base fragment. So let's extend fragment to this class like this. Now for every fragment we have something in common. For example, we will create view model for every fragment. We will be needing a data binding for every fragment and we also need a repository for our view model and it is also we need for every fragment. So I will define generic types for all these three things inside my base fragment. So here I will put angular braces and I will write first view model that is my view model. Then I need view binding. So I will define B it is for my view binding. And then I also need repository that is my base repository because I will be using this base repositories for all the repositories. So that is why I defined base repository here as the type. So we have all these three things that we will require in almost all our fragments. Now the first thing that I will do is I will override the on create view function to inflate the view for my fragment. So I will write here override fun on create view. Now inside this function we need to inflate the view. And we already have the view binding here, but we need to get the actual binding when we will extend this base fragment. So what I will do is I will create some abstract functions here. So one abstract function will define the view model class. One will define the actual binding and the last one will define the repository. So let's define the abstract functions. So here I will define abstract fun get view model and this class will return us a class of type view model. 
now we need one more that is abstract fun get fragment binding and to this function we will pass the inflator and the container because these are required to inflate the view binding so i will pass the inflator that is of type layout inflator i will also pass the container that is of type view group and that's all now i need one more function to define my repository so i will define abstract fun get fragment repository or you can name your function anything and it will return us r that is our repository now for this get fragment binding i just forget to define the return type it will return us b that is our view binding so we have all the abstract functions that will define the actual values when we will extend this base fragment to our actual fragment so we have everything now the first thing that we will do is we will define the binding so what i will do here is i will define a protected late init where binding of type b that is my view binding now here inside on create view function i will initialize the binding so i will write binding equals to get fragment binding i will pass the inflator and the container now i have the binding ready for now i will just return the view for this on create view function that is returning the view for my fragment so we already have the binding from this get fragment binding function and now we can simply return binding dot root and that's it our base fragment is ready we need to add a lot more things here but we will do it in coming videos so this is just a basic base fragment that is just creating the binding for our fragment now what we will do is we will extend this fragment whenever we will create our actual fragment but in this video i am not creating any fragment i will create the fragment in the next video and we will create a lot more things for example repository view model factory view model and other things so we will do all these things in the next video so stay tuned and wait for the next video and i hope you found this video helpful and learned something in case you have any problem or confusion you can leave your comments below and again i request you all to please share this video with all your friends and help me get new subscribers so thanks for watching everyone this is bilal khan now signing off